very good morning thank you one and all so i'm an uh, i personally feel i'm an odd man here because a lot of industries are here and all defense personnel are here and uh, my friend sri adit ji has called me to uh, grace this occasion i feel it's a privilege for me to know the developments of what are happening around the country and our country's defense mechanism how it has improved so it's all a very exciting and also a very inspirational story indian uh, defense establishments and the kind of uh, security the kind of uh, will the uh, the present regime has and the kind of activities that are happening in andhra pradesh also so uh, today i'm here just to make a brief about what all the things the government is contemplating in the state of andhra pradesh as uh, i think in the deliberations round uh, two days back lots of things might have happened lots of people from andhra uh, who are into this policy making of aerospace and defense policy of andhra pradesh i think it's very robust our 4.0 aerospace and defense policy is unparalleled to other states why because the two persons who are roped in for this activities one is satish reddy ji who is the s12 chairman of drdo and the present advisor to raksha mantri and also somnath ji one of the very prominent personalities in our uh, indian space organization isro is also roped in by andhra pradesh government i think these two things will definitely make what andhra is andhra has a largest number of clusters around 74 clusters are there in that uh, we have uh, the only state to have three industrial corridors we have one industrial corridor from hyderabad to uh, chennai one from another from uh, hyderabad to bangalore and another from vizag to chennai these three uh, industrial corridors have uh, around four nodes one in orvokal in the hyderabad bangalore uh, highway will be having it orvokal that's in karnool and uh, another in kopparthi another in achutapuram near to uh, visakhapatnam and uh, so and another is krishna patnam this four areas lots of investments are coming uh, you, you can find in vizag also and the defense investments is very ooping more than 2 lakh crores were invested around andhra so somebody might be thinking where where when and how so the lot of other strategic things of not getting revealing all these things visakhapatnam is also one of the great hub we have an company called eventel so other day i was just visiting the company i i thought it's an electronic company but they are into lots of defense related things of uh, signaling electronic manufacturing things and uh, andhra has a great opportunity of having the foot 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 step of a taiwanese and a south korean company coming in semiconductor industries so uh, future of andhra definitely the government is contemplating to make andhra a semiconductor hub so this will definitely help defense in many uh, other ways to come forward and uh, andhra in oems originally equipment manufacturers a lot of msc companies that are there in hyderabad they are coming in showing interest to come to andhra also so lots of clusters were developed and these two people satish reddy ji and somnath ji is also there in talk with lots of organizations also so all these things will definitely make andhra one of the, the rising a force in uh, in aerospace and uh, defense manufacturing uh, companies so in coming days we'll be seeing lots of developments also uh, apart from this uh, the kind of uh, thought process that's going into the uh, the present dispensation at center so lots of things are happening from 2014 india i started having an indigenous self reliant uh thought process in our defense mechanism our exports have definitely increased and it has reached around 23500 crores in uh, 24 25 so what we are expecting in 25 26 after the operation sindur the kind of uh, uh security mechanism we have the scientific tech sway things that have displayed to the world and our mps also went round the world so we had a meeting with all the mps people from andhra like harish mathur from amalapuram or purandaresh reji from uh, rajamandri these people also accompanied this whole delegation after operation sindur uh, uh, talking with uh, different uh, national defense heads and always also the premiers of the country so what happened during this deliberation is lot of them showed interest in our defense manufacturing things they want technology they asked for uh, even our drone technology which was displayed in operation sindur 
end S-400, what it has done to our uh, uh, defense systems also, everybody of us knows. They were telling our defense export will exponentially grow. They are seeing that it will be not 23,500, 1 lakh crores it may touch in coming years. And Vishakhapatnam being an SCB, where uh, ship, uh, shipbuilding yard is there, where manufactured three submarines, nuclear submarines. It's a break, great thing, but m most of us doesn't know. And in coming years, around uh, 10 years down the line, we'll be exporting a submarine to a lot of other countries. Lots of countries are showing interest in our having our nuclear submarine to be exported. One nuclear submarine will give us more than around 20,000 crores. So this is a huge thing. So a single uh, unit will be giving us that much amount of uh, exchequer. Uh, and our dependence on the foreign will also decrease in a great way. And uh, I'm, I'm keen interested in all the defense activities that are happening. And I'm very much interested in the ocean front. Unfortunately, our marine focus has been subdued for long. After 2013, when uh, China has come up with uh, the Belt and Road Initiative, so we did not have any um, idea about what's happening around the China. That the grandiose plan of China of uh, having 152 corridors around the world, and India is also one. We had five uh, uh, initiatives that were uh, promoted by China. Unfortunately, the regime then did not have an idea of what they are going to do. In name of history, that we are uh, going to discover the great Silk Route from Kanchi, Kanchipuram to Istanbul via China. So people had a grandiose plan that uh, China is having lots of good things to offer to all the nations. So uh, what we found out is how Sri Lanka has collapsed, how Nepal is coming down, how Bangladesh has been gobbled by them, and in Pakistan. So to counter this, so the kind of uh, initiative Narendra Modi has taken in a necklace of diamonds. So necklace of diamonds is one of the greatest strategic countered uh, defense system that uh, the country has developed. Uh, maybe it may not be as robust what China has done in sing string of perils. Definitely Vishakhapatnam is also under this uh, necklace of diamonds. Maybe it is not pointed out in that uh, as a diamond, but it has its own presence. So in the deliberation that had happened in different meetings, I am a close follower of all these things. So definitely Vishakhapatnam will be a strategic hub. So we were telling that all the satellites around the world, especially US, are being stationed near Vishakhapatnam because of the developments that are happening, not in defense front, in the nuclear front also. Lots of uh, developments are happening. And uh, in coming days, we'll be seeing lots of other activities that will happen to Vishakhapatnam. So the story of uh, myself being very keen to all these activities happened in 2012 when I happened to uh, visit the border areas in the eve of 50 years of our China aggression on India. So that's a starting point, I think, when India started thinking about itself. So till then, we did not have a iota of thought that any other country will be aggressing on India apart from Pakistan. So China aggression on India did change uh, the mindset of the then government and also the whole defense uh, systems have a starting point in 1962. So I happened to visit all those places. So the only thing that caught to my mind in 1962 or 625 was the only the brave hearts of our soldiers has secured a safe life for every one of us. Uh, the story of Jeshwan Singh so I went to uh, Tawang uh, from Bom uh, I went to Bomdila. So while going to Bomdila, I visited this place. So many of uh, defense persons know about uh, Jeshwan Singh, how he bravely stood there in a hill and fought with the Chinese forces and he killed more than 300 Chinese soldiers. There is a Chinese graveyard over there. The story is quite interesting. A single gun, a single man defended uh, for 48 hours with the help of a telephone wire. So he had three uh, barrel guns stationed in different uh, positions and uh, he himself held a uh, gun and was defending all the Chinese aggression for two continuous days. So the kind of story, after that he became the Bhagavan Jeshwan Singh. We have a temple over there, whoever passes through definitely should visit and pay respects to him, his uniform, everything is in place. People think that he'll come every day night, have a uh, surveillance round and go back. So this is a kind of a system, so the Yashwan Singh Negi, and in 65 war, 
where we had Abdul Hamid, how with a single jeep, a single artillery gun, defended lots of tanks. Pakistan has uh, 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 blasted around 48 Pakistan tanks. That's a thing nobody will understand because the tanks were produced, came from America. American forces have also come, have checked. Then they have said uh, because of Abdul Hamid, a brave heart like Abdul Hamid could resist the countries uh, the, the aggression of Pakistan and uh, we had uh, victory on our side because of just brave heart. We did not have any artillery and modern equipment when compared to Pakistan or any other country. So the, our story started from there and it was going on in 2014 and we had started thinking on our self-reliant Atmanirbhar defense systems that we should establish and lots of things had happened and our journey has started from 1%. Our, uh, our dependence on indigenous defense equipment to the place where we are. In 1998, when the Kargil war happened, there are a lot of stories. So we could come to know about what kind of thought process defense mechanism has. There's an allegation on George Fernandez that uh, the coffins, there's a coffin scam that was uh, being told by opposition parties. That we then, my interest grew. What is this coffin and why we are bringing, uh, India doesn't have this capability of having its own coffins manufactured here. For a small equipment like coffin also, we are depending on American. So America has sent around 500 coffins. Each one cost around $2,500. That time they charge 13 times more than uh, the price and India paid because our bodies are kept over there, we have to bring them back. So that became a scam. So George Fernandez uh, was here also in Vishakhapatnam, he was telling about this story. So we are depending not just upon coffin, we are depending on tides, we are depending upon uh, ropes. All these are being imported from elsewhere. This should change. Unless it changes, the story of this country will not progress. So what George Fernandez has uh, dreamt was fulfilled by our uh, uh, Modiji and uh, the defense kind of uh, activity that is happening around the country is a great, interesting and inspirational story for any everybody of us. And uh, as there is a song, Jag nahi sunata kabhi durbala janon ka shanti pravachan Sira jukata hai jo kar sake ripu manumaddan Shurdaya mein ho prema lekin shikti bhi karme prabalata hai Aiti haasi ka sacha hai Yaha sacha ab janana hai, pehchanana hai The only thing we have neglected is about shikti The kind of uh, courage, the strength the, should, the country should possess So that was neglected since long so now we have started knowing about what our country's, our Shaurya Shakti should be and our strength should be. So the India is on a right path of making uh, the Atma Nirbharta story. And uh, recently, on August 15th, uh, recent uh, Red Fort speech, Narendra Modi ji was telling about self-reliant India. Swadeshi movement should come to India again. The Atma Nirbharta activity that he has contemplated has started yesterday in September 25th yesterday we had a uh, um, meeting where we have started the self-reliant activity tomorrow Narendra Modi ji is himself inaugurating uh, the 5G and 4G network from Orissa so all over India will be having our own indigenous network will not depend upon private partners and also foreign partners in going in not uh, all sectors, almost all sectors will have Atma Nirbharata. There is a great uh, things to come. Def definitely most of you who are uh, into manufacturing activity will have a great time. And it's also a great news for the country. So thank you one and all for giving this great opportunity. I thank Aditya Ji, Aditya Ji and Swada Vikram Ji have been doing lots of activity in Vishakhapatnam, in industrial and other sectors, encouraging people who are into this area. So lots of MSMEs have come, lots are going to come. Definitely in coming days, we'll be having, we'll be seeing that in Andhra will be an investment hub for not just aerospace and defense, lots of other things, pharmaceuticals have come in a big way. Lots of other things also are going to come. And I also thank to uh, Sir of uh, TPCG. So he's a fourth generation, third generation entrepreneur. And uh, so the col with collaboration of TPCG and Vizag Industrial Scan, we had a great time, I think, uh, since last two days. So today, uh, yesterday I was in Hyderabad, I uh, mean Vijayawada, for an uh, activity of the government. Today it happened that I said I'll be coming today. He said uh, we'll have a final uh, closing ceremony. So if you can come and speak.
So I'm not an expert in anything, but a keen follower and I have great interest in all the activities. So uh, thank you one and all for giving this great opportunity, having a uh, paying visit to the exhibition and talking to you. Thank you one and all. Bharat Mataki. To stay informed about the startup ecosystem, subscribe to my startup TV.